Good morning, it's Pastor Bob Grenier from Calvary Chapel here in Visalia, California. I wanted to speak with you today regarding the subject of how do we handle a fiery trial? What do we do when we find ourselves engulfed by a fiery trial? Here's what Peter says in his first epistle, chapter 4, verse 12, Beloved, do not think it strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you as though some strange thing happened to you, but rejoice to the extent that you partake of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory is revealed, you may also be glad with exceeding joy. It is a blessing to note that Peter uses one of God's favorite terms to describe his readers, Christians, which would include you and I, and it's the term beloved. What it means is highly esteemed, very important to, and uh, it speaks of God's considering you and I to be dear to him. But the point here is that first of all, when a fiery trial comes, we're not to think that it's a strange thing, as though some strange thing happened to you. The word strange there means not to be shocked or surprised. And then when he speaks of a fiery trial, it literally means burning calamities that can come upon you to test your character. That's, of course, what trials do. They will come, Peter says. They are coming. And when they do come, don't be surprised. Don't uh, give over to things like, gosh, what's happened here? Where did this come from? Why is this happening? And so on and so forth. And the second thing he says when a fiery trial comes, now this is uh, perhaps a little more difficult for us, but he says, rejoice to the extent that you partake in Christ's sufferings, that when his glory is revealed, you may also be glad with exceeding joy. So we're called to rejoice in the idea and with the thought that, you know, we're sharing in the sufferings of Christ. He suffered and he said we would. And also our unity with Christ means that there's coming a point in time where his glory is going to be revealed to us. In other words, Peter is saying when you're in a fiery trial, remember where you're going. Remember what's going to happen to you. You know, trials are just for a little while, and then one day we're going to be in heaven. So uh, what a blessing to have the Word of God here. And I uh, pray that the Lord helps you through this. So those verses are 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 12 and verse 13. Well, good to share with you. Look forward to talking with you or sharing with you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.